all shits and giggles till somebody giggles and shits. I had this idea to get all my journals together and share the bizarre, chaotic mind fucks and mixed emotions in me, myself and bipolar Brenda. Ironic also that I decided to do this during one of the most difficult years of my life. A year in which I had more trips to A&E than I had nights out. When they start handing you an ECG card as soon as you get to an A&E reception, you know life is pretty fucked. Becoming a monthly thing, this. Me thinking I'm dying. Hitting 30 has not been all shits and giggles. But well, to be honest, it's been a hell of a lot of shits. Because the physical anxiety I've had this year doesn't care if you stood in Tesco's bread aisle and your stomach goes to literal shit. As you convince yourself, you're either going to die or have a heart attack. Shitting yourself seems a less painful option, really. Just does absolutely nothing for your image, though. I do that a lot, you know. I make jokes about myself and my illness to try and cover up how I'm really feeling. I scared, really. To bear my soul to you. To come across even more nuts than I already am. If I tell you I'm damaged, will you love me or leave me? That sort of thing. Oh, fucking hell, Tash, yeah. You're not writing a love song. Ease up on the quotes. I mean, that copyright stuff's a fucking minefield. Anyway, back to shitting myself. No, hell. Seriously, though, all jokes aside, anxiety isn't fucking funny at all. It really isn't. I've never written a book before, and I doubt I will again. So I may as well say what I want and get as much out as I can. <laughs>